Human error stretches the limits of technology again when the cooling system in the number four power reactor at Chernobyl fails. In the Soviet Union, a 1,000 square mile ghost town is created as authorities clear 135,000 people from villages surrounding Chernobyl. It took a full 18 days before the Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev made any public pronouncement on the nuclear disaster at Chernobyl. We were recently stricken by a disaster, the Chernobyl nuclear power accident. It deeply affected the Soviet people and disturbed world opinion. My proposal to President Reagan is that we meet without delay in the capital of any European country which would be willing to host such a meeting, or for example in Hiroshima, and work for agreement on banning nuclear tests. The accident, he told his countrymen, has now claimed nine lives and injured 299 others. But doctors estimate that thousands will die over the next decades. That's, uh, that's for the Geiger counter. We are looking for the respirators now. Team bar. Это с газом, да? Кружка. Сейчас, секундочку. Горелка для баллона. То есть она кружка. Ага. Надо несколько баллонов купить, да? Well, this is it. So, um, hopefully, I won't be talking to you from Ukrainian FBI or prison or something like that, we're uh, going to Chernobyl, but we're going another way. So last uh, good meal for a long time. I need to find your hat. You yes. I got it, it, it's on the bed. And now we can go. Got the lucky hat. Thank you.
так не видит. And uh, the, the has a uh, has a voice. I believe <laughs> it's talking to us, saying something. Вот смотри, видишь, впереди нас река Илья. Да. Вот она идет, видишь? Угу. Там и каналы впереди. Мы шли где-то вот здесь. Хераси. То есть нам нужно назад вернуться. Сюда пойти, блин. А что если вот, смотри, мы сейчас шли направо, если нам тупо вот припуляли, мы туда... Нет, 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 в лес не нужно идти. Почему? Мы там будем... Мы больше сил под... Typical atmospheric microsieverts. That's good. River actually looks pretty shallow. Давайте кто-то один говорит, Саша, что делаем? Так, Лукас, раздеваешься, берешь камеру и пиздуешь за нами. So, Lucas, you need to get uh, your clothes off and you need to take your camera and go with them. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. <laughs> We are crossing the Ilya River now, which is the first natural barrier to the exclusion zone. Just hit the Chernobyl's border. It starts here. And this, is, it. this is the exclusion zone. Yeah. Ще можу сказати, попри всі негаразди, ми дісталися цього найкращого в Україні місця, котре нам просто потрібно було в нього завітати, щоб. I don't know Ukrainian. He said. 
Вона не розуміє українську, тому, тому я перейду на російську. Значить, ми сюди приїхали по просьбі нашого любимого друга Лукаса. А давайте поговоримо після. Мне, в принципе, столько и хватит. We've been hiking for about six hours through thick brush and uh, sun should be coming up soon. God, it's beautiful here. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Stop, stop. Do a track stand contest. I just swallowed a bug. <laughs> Finally, some structure. So we uh, decide to take a little rest here in this shack. It's kind of cool. <laughs> hey man. It's what, like almost six o'clock in the morning. Sun's coming up, so yeah, this is a most beautiful place.
this is where we're going to stay. It's safe, perfectly safe. At Quite one microceiver, normal. Food. That's the ones you ate yesterday. Yeah. That's, that's wrong to eat them. <laughs> We're now leaving our humble abode and we are going to be heading to Pripyat tonight. We're going to Pripyat where it's a whole other world. Ready to ride. Just uh, south of Pripyat right now, we got a elevated radiation reading, uh, 0.4 millisieverts. Oh, the count is getting higher. Oh, we're at about the equivalent of a conquered jet right now in radiation. We are nearing Pripyat right now, and uh, those waypoints are pretty bit, we're uh, pretty close we're coming up to a dangerous intersection where we gotta be careful uh the people patrolling the place um like receiver reading is uh, actually pretty low right now on the geiger counter so we're okay but uh we to dangerous territory so we just reached pre pit control point oh Abandoned control point. Okay, good feelings all around. Oops. Oh yeah, sure. There's dust. Five o'clock in the morning, so uh, we're in uh, Pripyat in the high rise at a deluxe suite. So, uh, kind of nice. Congratulations on making it. Yeah. 
Well, we finally made it, and um, you can in fact see reactor four in the distance back there. So this is uh, day two in Pripyat, that lovely high rise that we're in. Right now we're in the basement of the hospital. Okay, let's go. Let's go. It's the uh, basement of the hospital, and uh, we uh, had our fun down here. So we're getting out of here now. Two microsieverts, one. Nihuya, себе. Можно кроссовки мыть пойти. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Uh, what are we at? We're at, um... Oh, it's pretty low. Okay, that's good. Yeah, check first. Okay. Yeah, okay, good. Our guide has... Oh, shit. So low? Okay, so your, uh... Your riding shoe is infected. So this is the calendar of year 1986 when the big tragedy happened. Oh, is it a prescription? Yeah, prescription. Oh, okay. This is very cool. So this is a prescription written a long time ago, I guess. Oh, this is the show. Oh, rest in peace, guy. What is this? It is the president said, I mean, the Soviet Union. He said that there is one task, the main one, that you should take care of the health of people. And the mask is going into the stratosphere. At this point, uh, we're going to break 100. Yeah, we uh, break in 100 microsieverts. We're off the chart. Okay, well, that's great. Anyway, that concludes our uh, tour of the hospital. Guide was in a huge hurry to get out of there, so I uh, hope that he's okay, and um, I hope that um, Dimitro is okay too. It's worse than dog shit. Lucas, will you sign that shoes? And we will then send them on eBay. <laughs> no, we cannot. Because they have gagameters. Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive Lucas Brunel line of shoes from Chernobyl. <laughs> At this point we need water, so we're gonna go um, get some water from the uh, basement of a Chernobyl building. So this is where we get our water drinking supply. And the water looks like it is clean. Yep. So it's not radioactive, so that's a good sign. All we gotta do now is filter it because this plant is a little bit 
rusty. So we're at the top of Chernobyl right now. We're at 0.5 microsievert, and that's not too bad for radiation. Uh, it's a beautiful morning here, and behind me is the reactor. Well, the flowers aren't bad, so... Um, yeah. Yeah. I just got present from Lucas. We're at the top of the Russian woodpecker today. We're uh, getting a little view over there of uh, reactors. Reactor four. <laughs> Not a good time for a call, actually, unless it's the crew.
what I'm going to do at this point is uh, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave a mark. Well, this is the infamous claw, and it was used to clean up Chernobyl. So basically, what's happening is uh, we're splitting groups, and we're going to get the uh, footage out of the exclusion zone as soon as we possibly can. It's going to be a long night. We've got multiple river crossings and fields and fences and all kinds of shit we got to do tonight. We're going to do it fast. We're going to do it in the dark. Good night. Good luck. Well, we are back in Kiev and we're re-measuring the shoes and uh, we got a normal reading on those, thank God. Okay, well this is great. Threw away perfectly good cleats because they're radioactive. So this is how we patched the tube was we used a plastic bottle, cigarette lighter to dull the edges and stuff that into an inner tube and then we put it on here. Of course this was after these we're exhausted. We actually used all of these patches. So, um, oh yeah, that's right. We also used. We also did that the old the old fashioned method. And uh, I'm really glad to see that that actually held up. So anyway, congratulations on making it back. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know where to begin. Um, Chernobyl is the most beautiful place I've ever been to. I've uh, visited over 60 countries, ridden my bike in so many crazy situations, and really pushed myself to the limits so many times, but nothing compares to the experience that I've had in Chernobyl. I'm part Ukrainian, so it felt amazing to pay homage to my ancestors and also to see the land that they were forced to evacuate so long ago. into Chernobyl and get out safely. Oh, so great!